So for step 13, attaching the rear subframe, you can see again, we're going to slide these metal, what do they call them, subframe, subframe channels onto the back end and slide them over those pieces, just like we did at the front. And then we're going to put in that rear cross member that we built in the last step and attach them with the screws. Now you'll no also notice they want you to use the rubber cement on this piece, which is gonna go over the third hole because when we slide this on, they're actually not being used at this stage by the looks of it. I think that's going to happen later on um, because one, two, three, one, two, well, maybe they are being used once you get the cross member on. Um, so we just need to put some rubber cement on to hold them in place. And so there we have our subframe channels and a couple of screws. So I'll just set this up and we'll put this together. So first off, let's put a little rubber cement in the right place here. Let's get a bunch off here. So it has to be on the third spot. So let's just do a little dab there. And we'll grab one of those pieces right here and we'll stick it down. And just make sure it's in place over that third hole which is fine and then we'll do the same thing with the other one so third hole and I don't need to put on a lot because it just it's just going to be there to hold it in place once the screw is on this it won't be needed much anymore. I'll just wipe a bunch of that off. Anyways, there that's in place, so we'll let that dry. So we don't need any more of this. So now if we follow the diagram, if we grab one of those cross members that we just Put that little thing into we got to slide that over and onto here so you can see on the back side and you can see where that lip was this is going to slide on just like that and i mean there's nothing nothing to attach it but you can see that being that it's in the back there is something for this to rest against you can see there so once that sits there there's something to rest on now same thing with the other one and I mean, I could just put that just like that and it's held. But in order to really solidify this, we need to put that full cross member on. So if you can see how this is gonna go, the, um, the slanted edge is going to the rear and we know that the first spot where that is got to sit has to be on, and if I put, move my hands back a bit here, it needs to sit here so that the screw is being attached to that first hole after the curve part. So this one here. So if we do what it shows here, we're gonna stick one of those in and I'm going to put it in enough that it's actually holding the frame in a bit, which it is. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side just so that we've got it held together. Put that one in and we'll screw that in place. So again, that's how it's got to look, with it slanted towards the back, and we've got it into that hole. So I need to put that screw in and that screw in now to fully um, tighten this up. So let's start on this side. We're now going to put this one into here and tighten it up. 
and I'm not going to do it all the way yet. I just want to make sure the all of them are going in properly before I tighten anything. Okay, so this feels good. So I will start tightening things in now. And there we go. So there is the rear subframe. So we have that completed mainframe all fixed up. So it's done. So step 13 is complete. So now we're going to move on to step 14, which this will be a bit of a fun part because now we're going to install that transfer gearbox case and the motor. Thank you.